There's been a recent push by the right in our country to try to limit access to women's birth control, reproductive rights, medical services. I find it very terrifying. Uh, first off, I find it very hypocritical when politicians try to make it a moral issue and bring up Jesus in order to get the Christian vote and then don't support public health care. Jesus healed sick people for free. <laughs> Bible, and all through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus is handing out free health services. <laughs> the J-Man did that, and a little light bartending. <laughs> it was this shit. If you want to convince me that it's Christian to support privatized insurance companies, you'll have to rewrite the Bible. You'll have to have Jesus say, oh, Lazarus, oh, I would love to bring you back from the dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, your plan is out of network. <laughs> want to help you, but I was just notified leprosy is a pre-existing condition. You're going to have to walk it off. All of it. It's just going to fall right off. Yeah, I also always support a woman's right to choose. You know, even late term. It's a woman's choice. It's her body, you know? Even if it's like up to eight Eight or nine years is completely fair. <laughs> right? You should be able to say, look, little Timmy, this is not working out for me. I recently did a benefit for Planned Parenthood. They flew me out to Michigan to help raise awareness because pharmacies were privatizing and then not giving out people's birth control pills. And the man in charge of this movement released a statement saying, we believe birth control pills are miniature abortions and we're taking a moral stand. Which A, is false, and B, a moral stand on birth control pills? What is next? Is this guy gonna try to outlaw pulling out? <laughs> <laughs> on TV now on Fox News. <laughs> this just in. A thousand babies died today on a young girl's stomach. <laughs> it was a belly button holocaust. 